Just as five hundreds of homes north of Scottsdale could soon be without water, county leaders are working to come up with a solution. Water in the desert is a priceless necessity, and tonight the clock is ticking for hundreds of families to find a new way to keep their taps from running dry. The county held two public meetings today to try to make sure these families won't go without water. Jason Berry is joining us live tonight near the Rio Verde foothills. Any progress, Jason, on a possible solution? Well, there were a number of options discussed, but trying to get everyone who lives up here to decide which one is best won't be easy. And time is running out. We live in a desert, so water is a pretty big deal. And nobody knows that more than the folks who live in the Rio Verde foothills, where some people get their water from wells and others have it hauled in by the city of Scottsdale. The city recently announced plans to stop supplying water here because of the current drought. Something's got to be done, and I know there's going to be a solution. I just don't know when and what it's going to be. Scottsdale's decision to stop providing water to Rio Verde by the end of the year has created both concern and chaos as the community tries to figure out where they'll get their water. A sustainable source of water. Maricopa County officials held two meetings with property owners Friday to discuss possible options. The first option would establish a domestic water improvement district known as a DWID. It would create a governing board that would oversee water distribution and allow residents to buy water and and hook into the Central Arizona project system. Even if you have a well, if something goes wrong in the near future, then at least you have a capability of getting water, whereas it's a great insurance policy as far as I look at it. But a lot of homeowners say not so fast. Many of them have water wells on their property and don't like the idea of paying into a system they won't use, not to mention having a newly created government entity placing restrictions on them. I don't want five people telling me the, uh, what to do. That's why I don't live in an HOA, and uh, that's the reason I'm out here. That's why the majority of the people are out here. We're told a majority of homeowners would have to support the DWID before the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors would sign off on it, and right now it doesn't have the votes. Another option is for the state legislature to pass a law allowing a private water company to bring outside water into Scottsdale, which could then be distributed to folks in Rio Verde. Friday's Q&A sessions did not get this community any closer to a solution. I see both sides. Um, the people that are hauling, we got to come up with a solution for them. They, they can't go with that water. So I get that, and the people with the wells are just hoping their wells don't dry up, but they could. I think the reason there were two meetings held today was to avoid any confrontations between residents who disagree on the best way to fix their water woes. But at some point, they will need to find a way to come together and find a solution that's best for the entire community. Reporting live in the North Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.